us started if that's if that works. So um, welcome everyone. I'm gonna call us to order at 6.03. And this is the annual reorganization meeting. Thank you for um, bumping it up a couple of days so that we could do our business. This is the meeting that I call to order and the first order of business is I'm gonna ask for nominations for chair. Ursula. I'd like to nominate Floor Diaz Smith for chair. Second. Thank you, Ursula and Joshua. Are there any other nominations? Can we hear a speech? <laughs> floor. Do you wanna you wanna hear me talk you, more? <laughs> you, you have the floor. Uh, I I would be honored to continue to be your your chair. I I take it really seriously and I see myself more as an aspiring leader, you know, that serves you. And I'm trying always my best to lead you the best I can and make sure that the, you know, we are all moving towards what's best for all kids and trying to make sure that, you know, we are all the well being of you guys is as important to me as the well being of the system and trying to support our superintendent too and our leaders and I I love this district. I love the kids and I'll be honored to serve for another year if you will have me. While we're on the record, I would just like to say that <clears throat> um, Floor, your work with the Vermont School Board Association is amazing and your work at the legislature is amazing and your guidance, both um, how we get through meetings, how we get through tough subjects um and your work with the administration is really exemplary so thank you for wanting to do the chair again thank you Thanks, joshua okay any other discussion natasha we have a nomination on the floor to elect floor as the chair just so. okay Seeing no hands, all those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay. We do not need to do a roll call since there are no opposed. And Floor, congratulations. I will turn it over to you. Thank you, everybody. I'm, I'm honored and thankful. And we have a lot to get through, but I'm excited for another year and we'll get through this physical time and come out stronger. So we have a lot to cover today and we're just gonna jump right into it. I know that we, we hadn't scheduled public comments today. We have a couple of people here, but we're gonna wait until the end if that's okay with people, unless I just saw that Ellen fell off the call. So unless Before there's- I would, I would favor yeah, hearing ahead. from people, I would hear favoring from people beforehand because it, it's such an unusual time for us in terms of having a, a failed budget, which will take up a lot of our time and to hear public comments um, before we move on to other reorganizational uh, aspects, I think would I, I'd be happy to hear that. Okay, so are there any members of the public, please raise your hand that want to speak right now that have joined the meeting to make a public comment. Okay. Seeing no hands up unless I'm missing something. Megan, do you see any? And the way? I don't see anybody. Nope, so I think right we can continue. I think they're mostly observers. I think the only person that might have been dropped. So that's, uh, uh, we'll continue with our business for right now. So the, the, the second part of this is to continue to elect our, our officers. So I'm looking for a nomination for vice chair. So can I raise another point of order here? Um, and it yes. has to do with the, the steering committee. Um, and I know that certain officers are members of the steering committee as well. And the um, we're supposed to have, I think, representation from all the towns. 
without any one being overweighted. And I think when we ended up last year, Middlesex was overweighted in representation because of the officers. If I'm wrong about that, then I, I apologize, but I thought there was an overweight in Middlesex representation on the steering committee. And is there a way we could um, address that if it was ac if that's accurate? So would it be okay uh, to address that when we talk about the steering committee? Because there's ways to either expand the steering committee and let the officers be the officers that the board would want to appoint. Does that make sense? Um, it, it would or, um, provide. I just I'm, I'm worried about about the bouncing. However, we achieve it is fine. Um, so. Okay, we'll make sure to balance it and then move into nominating a vice chair or Megan, go ahead. Well, this just might help get through the officers. I don't think it's the officers that may, if it was disproportionate and I'm not sure it was, it wasn't the officers because we had East Montpelier in floor, Callis in Kari and Joshua and as clerk. And then the others would have been the chairs of our committees. So it's the chairs of the committees that may be. Um, so I just wanted to point that out. I don't know that the officers are what tipped the scales last year. Yeah, and, and I'm, not aware, I'm not aware that it's a chair of a committee that gets on the steering committee as yeah, opposed so to- So Chris, Chris yeah. I think it was near the end. So it was when Jonas stepped off, I think that right. there yeah. was some shuffling. And I think that was, and we all had acknowledged that that was due to the fact that it was because there was no reason to kind of shift a, you know, um, a Doty representative in there because we were so close to the election time. So I think that's when it started to, it might have looked that way, but typically it is pretty balanced. Okay, I'm just, yeah, yeah thank you. Any other comments regardless regarding that? Otherwise, okay. I'm looking for a nomination for vice chair. I nominate Thanks. Ursula Stanley to vice chair. Second. Thank you. So Kelly moves it. Joshua seconds it. Any discussion? All right. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Hearing none, unanimously appointed. Ursula, congratulations. Thank you. Okay. So now to the third officer. I'm looking for a nomination for Clark. I would, no I would nominate uh, Diane if she's willing to serve. Well, Joshua had stepped in. I just, as long as Joshua, I mean, I'm happy to do that, but Joshua, if you're enjoying that role, I don't want to. Um, I, I'd be happy to do that. I'm not sure. Um, I mean, to Chris's point, I mean, you know, that means there are two representatives from Middlesex. I don't know if you all feel comfortable with that. I know we did. I know I jumped on there at the end, uh, but now as Ursula is the vice chair, I mean, I just thought I would point that out. Any, any other well, discussion? I would second Diane, but I don't know if we need a second before discussion, but if we do, I second. Okay. You, we Not that I don't think Joshua second. does a great job. But, um, yeah. Okay. So, it, and the way it works is that we can have two people nominated. So, if there was somebody else that wants to nominate Joshua, and then you can just count the votes. It's the pleasure of the board. Or if you know, if, if we just have one nomination, that's okay too. So, are there any other nominations for clerk? I don't quite know how to do this. <laughs> Joshua, do you, I, I feel like we need a little bit of discussion. Do we need to nominate Joshua first? I, I just. So how about this? I'll nominate Joshua for clerk as well. Okay. And I'll yeah. second 
I think that's, that's the best. Yeah, to make it fair. Okay. Okay. And then it gets a, a little complicated in in the in the vote, and because we're not in person, it's a little bit hard to send uh, to send ballots. So, Megan, I don't know if you have any any thoughts. Sometimes what we do at the SBI is that people just send an email with their vote, so it's just easy, you know, like easier or. Uh, I don't know if you have any thoughts. Could we do a so we chat to fair. the host? You can do a chat. Uh, perfect. Direct chat to me. I also just, you also want to make sure, Diane already did, that both accept the nomination before you vote. Yeah. And then, um, yes, you so could go you into the chat the nomination? and just do direct message um, to me, probably actually would be easiest. Or no, maybe floor to floor. Floor. Yeah. floor. Yeah. 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 Because it'd be easier to count. Yeah. Joshua, you accept the nomination? Oh, excuse me. Sorry. I didn't know I had to. Yes. Yes, I accept. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So now if you can direct message me on the chat, that'd be great. And if you're. I don't, I don't, I don't think I. Just give me a minute because I have to go one by one. Right. I think I count it right. So Diane is our clerk. Okay. Thank you both. All right. Moving uh, right along. Now we have all of the officers. And let me move. I'm just gonna go with the little memo and we'll move into committees after. So we'll just go in the order of the of the memo. Um, so we're gonna stay, are we okay with saying, I need a motion for our current board meeting? First and third Wednesday, go ahead, Ursula. I move that we would continue with our current board meeting schedule of the first and third Wednesdays of the month with the first meeting being an educational meeting at our elementary schools. And the second being at U32. The second being our business meeting, business heavy meeting. All right. I'll second that. Thank you, Michelle. Any discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Yeah. And then just, the, I, I would like, a, uh, well, maybe, I don't know if we need to do a motion, but that all our meetings will have a virtual option. And then our board has the ability still through this year to have, like today, we did a virtual meeting just to be able to, so we want to continue to have that. But I don't think we need a motion for that, Megan. What do you, what do you think? It's just a practice. Yeah, you don't necessarily need a practice. I think it's uh, yeah. left over from last year. You wanted to have that discussion about whether or not you were 
moving one way or the other. And then the law allowed for hybrid for longer. So I think it is just affirming how the board wants to do it. Okay. And is there agreement with the board that we would operate, you know, in, in what is best and continue to have a hybrid, but if necessary, we would have a hybrid meeting when needed. Everybody okay with that? Yeah. Okay. All right. I also, I was just going to explain, I think my message to Melissa got lost in translation a little bit. We will cross-reference the board meeting dates with holidays to make sure none fall. And it's yeah. not quite cross-referenced here, so we won't take time tonight. So if any of our established board meetings fall on, that did happen not this year, but last year. So we'll just try to get ahead of that. So we will let you know. Yeah. And that, that is just a short list for right now, but yes. So if you see any, please email us. So now we can move into committees. I'm not gonna go ahead and, cause we have a lot of returning board members. We all know what committees are. So I'm not gonna read what, what our committees do, but you know, they expedite the work of the board. They're really important for us in order to operate properly. And we have, a, we're gonna start by the steering committee. So right now we have a, you know, the, we have somebody from East Montpelier. We have somebody from Middlesex and we have somebody from a, Berlin as our clerk. So we're looking a, to add somebody from Callas and Worcester to, to the steering committee. So we'll be looking for nominations for the, for the steering committee. Uh, Daniel, you have been the one posting recently. So you and Michelle get to decide because you're the two <laughs> who wants to be in the steering committee. I don't, I don't feel strongly. I guess I have some reservations not knowing when they meet and what the time obligation is. So the steering uh, the steering committee meets the second, I'm going to get it wrong now, it's second Wednesday, second Wednesday of the month before our third month. It used to be the first Wednesday, so, but we can always, depending on the composition of the steering committee, we could try to adjust that. It's usually helpful to have it at least a Wednesday before our meeting so that we can have what we need for the packet and adjust so that we can all look at the agenda together. So it's not just the chair and Megan looking at the agenda and that has worked really well. So it's at, it's at nine, it's, and yeah, nine to 10. Is that a virtual meeting floor? Yes, a virtual meeting, it's a virtual meeting, yeah. So doesn't fit into my schedule again. It's pretty it's pretty painless having done it. Yeah. Yes. It's yeah. uh not that much time. Yeah. I have a standing meeting at that time. Okay. So Daniel, you're saying yes. Sure. Okay. <laughs> so I'm looking for another one and then you, somebody can make a formal motion to appoint it to be Worcester, who's gonna be? Well, I would nominate the tosser McKeown. because I, I can't make it at that time. So, I mean, I can't do Wednesday mornings. I don't know how much that matters. I can't either. I've got standing commitments at work at that time. Okay. So we might have to look at that too. What? Can we reconsider we... the meeting time based yeah. on who's on the board, like who's on that? Yeah, committee? I think, yeah. So if you guys want to nominate somebody and then we will figure out the schedule. Do we do we anticipate another Berlin, uh, another Worcester member? So maybe we leave it open until we have another Worcester Hopefully. member? Yeah, we can do that. We can do that too, if that's what the Worcester representatives right here, will, that would be the pressure of them right now. Yeah. Is that what you would like to do, Natasha and McKellen? Or would you rather explore other meetings? I would rather not anymore? leave it empty with yeah, Worcester. Yeah, same here. I'd rather see okay. if we could find another. I mean, if it's, um, 
honestly, putting another meeting on my schedule is really <laughs> going to be difficult, okay. but, um, I mean, I could do, I could do earlier on Wednesday. Yeah, that's how we can, we can figure that out with the committee. If, if one of you decides who wants to do it. So then we're working either with your schedule, Natasha, or with Michaela's schedule. So just decide between the two of you. Natasha, I, I hate for for this. <laughs> so Natasha is doing other stuff too. So Michaela, do you want to be in the steering committee? Sure. Okay. So, yeah. And now I'm I mean, looking for a, yeah, I'm <laughs> looking for a formal nomination of both Daniel and Michaelan for the to, to steering committee. I nominate um, Michaelan. And <laughs> both you can do both. both. Oh, and Daniel. <laughs> I second. Ah, so Natasha nominated and I think Chris beat you to it, sure. Michelle. You know, and I'm gonna I'm gonna defer to the, the new board member and um, <laughs> We should give her an introduction to our district because I don't know how familiar she is with it. Um, but hopefully she'll be able to learn over the weekend or something. Hey, Michelle. We're, we're going to get to that in a little bit, but just you wait. Okay. All those in favor uh, of uh, Michaela and Daniel uh, appointed to the steering committee, please signify by saying aye. 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 All right. Aye. Can I ask an organizational question, Floor? We have a steering committee on the books for this coming Wednesday. Does not have to stay on the books. The question is, do you want Melissa to send a poll out or maybe just connect? Maybe Michaela and you can, you and I can talk. What's the easiest way? Or do you want the rest of the steering committee to meet on Wednesday and then have the first agenda item yeah. be to schedule a new meeting? Yeah, I think. I think the steering committee, am I killing? The, the steering committee does need to meet this Wednesday because of where we are right now, but we will make sure to connect with you regardless of the time and then send a doodle poll to, so that we can adjust it after that meeting so that we can have okay. a so meeting that works for you. How about Michaela? I'll, you and I can connect and I'll copy Melissa so she has it too and get a sense of dates and times that do work for you. And then I can bring those to the steering committee on Wednesday so that we can make the change right there. Okay. All right. Okay, so now policy committee, three members. You can just volunteer your hand and we can, you know, we have- Continue on the policy committee. So we have Chris, Natasha, Amelia. Yes, yeah, Amelia. Now I'm looking for a nomination for the three members of for Chris, Natasha, and Amelia. For I move to nominate Amelia Contrada, Natasha Eckert, and Chris McVeigh to the policy committee. Thank you, Daniel. Okay. I second. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm going to give it to Zach, said Ursula. Okay. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Uh, moving into the negotiations committee, we won't have negotiations for the next three years, but I think it's always good to have a negotiations committee. We should have one for, because there's some other things that you guys need to do. And I have a question. It says three, but last year we had four. Yeah, it's, the three is just the minimum okay. of board members that is good to have, but we can have as many as, because like the quality committee will have a lot of, <laughs> of people, oh. so. I'm happy to stay on the committee. Thank you, Joshua. I I am too, and I would hope Diane is. Diane, as well. yeah. Okay, so Not Diane. sure "happy" is quite the right word, but yes, I'll be pleased to continue that work. Okay, Joshua, Diane, and Chris. Okay. Any more? Okay, I'm looking for a nomination. I nominate Joshua Savage, Diane Nicole Fleming, and Chris McVeigh to the negotiations committee. I second. Thank you, McKenna. All right. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Hearing none, we have a negotiations committee. Okay, education quality committee. Ursula? Yes. 
So Ursula, Diane, McCain, Daniel, me, and Zach. All right. So Lisa, are you with us? So I'm looking for somebody to make a nomination of Ursula, Diane, McKaylin, Daniel, Sack, and so, myself. Yep. So moved. All right. And second by? Second. Amelia. Amelia. Thank you, Amelia. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Hearing none. We have uh, Education Quality Committee. It's exciting that it's always the most popular one. Okay, Finance Committee. Zach, Michelle, Ursula. I would like to serve as well if possible. Okay, so Chris, that committee does meet in the morning. Chris, eh, Zach. And again, the reason Michelle. I'm putting myself forward is because of the con reconfiguration or the configuration study, you know what I mean? So that um, I will, I mean, I'll, I'll watch the videos again of the meetings, but again, the reason I'm putting my name forward. So if there's a Berlin person on it, then I'm happy to step back. Was there a Berlin? Keely, did you want to be on that or able to be on that? Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. I really appreciate you, Diane. But... Oh, yeah. No, no, that's fine. I just wanted to. And I similarly, I've been on the reconfiguration side of things. I wouldn't mind being on finance in general. I just can't do Tuesday mornings either. But, um, but yeah. Yeah, we're going to continue to have the distinct, we have a committee. So I, I'm raising my hand. Yeah. And we're, yeah. We might need to expand the configuration committee, anyways. But we, yeah. So, so we yeah, have Chris, so. but just oh, to make sure like that we, we're, to, sorry, <laughs> it sounded ahead. like you were getting ready to review the names anyway, because I didn't, I didn't get them all. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. And I, yeah, I'm just going to review the names, but also make sure that we, that, that we are, we're going to continue, especially because that next meeting is tomorrow morning. We're going to continue with the one meeting in the morning and one meeting that we're doing before our meeting in the afternoons, at least for right now, because we are- I can't share my schedule for tomorrow morning, so I'll be there tomorrow. <laughs> okay, so so we're gonna nominate uh, Chris, Zach, Michelle, Diane, and Michaelin, and myself. And uh, who am I missing? And Ursula, Oops. right? And Daniel and had his Daniel. hand up as well. Daniel, I this, yes. Yeah, but I was just missing our my current, so. Daniel, Ursula, yeah, Sack, and myself are the current members. We're adding Michelle, Chris, yeah, Diane, and Michaelin, right? Did you get that confusing thing, Lisa? I did, thank you. Yep, thanks. All right, and, and who's making the motion? So moved. Um, Amelia, thank you. Seconded. And second by? Seconded. Okay, my Michelle, Michelle, okay. Yeah. All right. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Hearing no, the motion carries. Okay. And now we get to the truancy officers. Yeah. So, what about our representative to the Central Vermont Career Center? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm like I wrote all over there, so I don't. I just yes, very important. Thank you. And Jody is here. So we need to appoint uh, somebody to the Central Vermont Career Center. I've been talking to somebody in this. I was hoping that Jody is looking now, very intent. Joshua, are you still willing to do it? Oh, or... uh, <clears throat> I would love to do it. Yes. Um, yes, sure. I would love to do that. It would be, yeah, great. Sorry, that sounded very non-committal. But yeah, yes. no, no, that would yeah, be great. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I'm going to nominate say... Joshua in all of his enthusiasm for this position. I'll okay. second. Jody, it's real yeah. enthusiasm. I promise. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So nominated by Ursula and second by Chris. Is that right? Yep. All right. And I'm staying for this committee. Jody, do not. 
Uh, all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Hearing none, the Career Center has a board member. Thank you for being here, Jody. Okay. Welcome, Josh. Yeah, he'll be awesome. He'll be happy. All right. Now moving into the truant officers. Thank you, Ursula, for catching that. Um, so the motion is right there. So I'm looking for somebody to nominate for Berlin, Celia, and on and on. I don't want to read it twice. And I'm assuming you have the packet in front of you too, Lisa. Go ahead, Ursula. I nominate Celia Guman for Berlin. Kat Fair for Callis, Gillian Foucault for Worcester, Carolyn May for Middlesex, Alicia LaFord for East Montpelier, and J.B. Hilferty for U32 for Truant Thank you, Ursula. Uh, second? second? For Daniel. Okay. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 All right. Moving right along, uh, we are going to agree that we will use Robert rules. Yep. Okay. And then we included a copy of the board norms in the in the packet, and we can uh, we can look at that. Uh, we'll update them at our retreat this summer. Okay. So um, go ahead, Diane. Um. So it's kind of ironic, but don't we have to vote to uh, agree to use Robert's rules? Shouldn't we have a vote? It's and, uh, up to you whether or not you want to vote to adopt them because they are your default. Okay. Yeah. But, but yeah. Yeah. it's up to you. Yes, if I knew yeah. Robert's we, we could... a little better, maybe I would have known that, but okay. Yeah. Yeah, I, I didn't bother with it because if we did not operate with it, we would be not complying with open meeting law because we're a group bigger than 13.2. And even for a group smaller, we would have to do it. But it, but uh, we like asking the question anyways, but it is a good question, Diane. It, so, but I, I don't think we have to because we better. <laughs> and I think we'll agree that. It, but we, I would like to have a, a motion to accept our norms. Daniel? Yeah, I, I'd i like um, to move that, um, that we adopt our norms and um, subject to consensus, change them as needed. But for now, I think they've been great, serving us great. Second. Thank you. Thank you, Daniel. Second by Chris. Any more discussion? All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Hearing none, the motion carries. Yeah. And then we're moving into our communication uh, practices. And we have to agree that the chair is the spokesman for the full board and the superintendent is the spokesman for the district. And best practice is to copy the superintendent and the chair in communications. Yeah, we, this is more of a practice. We are really good at it. Is there any questions on it? Thank you. There was, there was vacuuming, so he was closing the door, sorry. We could have a motion on this, but I don't, it's, you know, it's more of a practice and an understanding really. So I'm okay either way. Megan, do you feel strongly one way or another or? Sorry, I couldn't find my un unmute button. Nope, I'm comfortable. Okay. Any questions on that? Everybody comfortable with that? Right. So. Let's move to uh, our schedule annual uh, board session. This year, it would be, remember, we keep talking about it since last year, and we were trying to keep it on the same date. So the, it would be either August 6th or August 8th. We could send uh, a poll to see what works best for you guys. 
but this is what we've had since last year. And I know it's hard to get everybody. We were trying to do it earlier, especially, you know, my kid, I got really strong feedback last year. So I'm trying to keep it within the dates that everybody said yes. So hopefully this works. So should we send a doodle poll or? What did you say, Chris? I would say send a doodle, doodle. Yeah, a doodle poll okay. would be great. Okay. Yeah, thank we'll you. We'll have Melissa send a doodle poll for. Yep. And, and then let's move to the locations for our posting our agendas. So this, you know, we've we have trimmed this over the years. So we have each school, the Washington Central uh, website, and each town. What do you mean each but town? I, my, it's town clerk. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's get email and each town clerk posted posts the in their town clerk's office. So. Could I have a motion if people agree with that? <laughs> I move that the meetings be posted uh, at each school in the district and at each town clerk's office and with each town clerk by email. Is that right? Each town clerk, yeah, yeah. We email them and they post it physically. It's posted each in town clerk. Yeah. Yeah. And the district website. And the district, and on website. the district website. Second by Ursula, I think. Daniel. Uh, all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 And then the posting of the minutes, they're posted on our website. Sorry, who seconded, uh, who seconded the one where you're posting the agendas? It was uh, Ursula. Ursula. Thank you. So I'm looking for a motion to post their minutes on our, on our website. I move that we post the minutes of our meeting on the district website. Second. Second. <laughs> All right. Uh, Kelly, was that you? I'm gonna get no, it. I actually no, was not one was... of those. <laughs> oh, Diane, I don't know. I'm like, you were laughing. I think it was, like, it was Natasha and McKaylin, like, that? unanimously. <laughs> yeah. Like, in the same. Yeah, I saw McKaylin also was laughing, but I didn't. Okay, so McKaylin and Ursula. Ursula moved it and seconded it. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Okay. Aye. And now we need a motion to designate our newspaper record. Mr. Dacor is here. I, I move, move to designate our newspaper record as the Times Argus. Thank you, Second. Kelly. Second. Okay. Second by Zach. So Kelly and Zach. Or is that right? Just two people spoke at the same time. Yes. Yeah. That's, okay. All yeah. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Yeah. I'm not. I'm not sure we're going to need this this year, but uh, let's just appoint uh, somebody to be the voting delegate for the statewide health insurance, yeah, and we need to designate that by April first. <clears throat> so. What is, is this that... position for? Yeah, this is the, we just ratified. There's the, the statewide uh, contract health insurance gets negotiated statewide, and we get one vote. Yeah. Okay. So we have a voting delegate to ratify the vote, basically. Yeah. And, Who has been our need... voting delegate in the past? So we did not need it last year. I have been our voting delegate in 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 the past, but it can be anybody. <laughs> nominate floor and they're voting on what in particular I'll, I'll, a, okay i'll second that the ratification of health contracts basically you know the okay. ratification of and megan you can help me here yeah yeah if if there health is insurance. a successful negotiation for for a successor health care agreement then board members from across the state have to ratify it so she's not our negotiator no 
She is just our your vote. Okay. We just ratify the what they decided on. So we, you know, each uh, side. It's it's a process that hasn't gone perfect. So I'm I'm a little sarcastic about it. So I don't get into it. But it, you know, we we need to have a representative. Yes, I'm familiar with the process. We we appoint delegates. In. So I'm happy to serve Michelle. You nominated. Myself, is there a second? I'll second. Exactly. All those in favor, please signify it by saying aye. 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 Okay. And, and then we included the code of ethics. Yeah. Obviously, you, if you wouldn't mind signing it and giving it to me on Wednesday, that would be great. Yeah. And I understand there's some that don't feel like they want to sign it, and that is okay too. But if you could sign the code of ethics and give it to me on Wednesday, that would be awesome. It's included in your packet. Will you bring some copies on Wednesday? That's what I was going yeah, to ask. Can, if you can yeah, bring some yeah. copies. Sure. We'll bring some copies on Wednesday. And then on the open meeting law, it, I was just providing the same link as last year. This is a, it's, it's a great little webinar on open meeting law. It, it, we do a lot uh, to do professional development as a board. We are also gonna talk in a minute about our professional development, but there's some links to that. Then the individual board uh, development, as you know, that is something that is really key and I think has made us a really good board. Uh, across the state and we do a really good job about using time to learn as a board. So there's a couple of, uh, some of you are familiar with that. It, it, I think we just have one new board member and that is you, Michelle. So this is your time to introduce yourself. I think you know everybody, but you are, now you have a different hat is the new board every time we have a new board member. So please go ahead, introduce yourself and okay, welcome. Thank you. Uh, Michelle Sefka, I live in Calais, been here for since 1991. Um, both of my kids have gone through the school. Some of you know my kids. Some of you I know from when you were in school. <laughs> um, so yeah, I worked in the district for almost 28 years. So I'm familiar with a lot of things that have gone on or go on in Washington Central over the years. And I'm happy to, I always wanted to be on the board and I couldn't because I worked in the district. So I'm happy to be able to serve this time. Thank you, Michelle, and welcome. So, so there, I, we added the two dates, May 6th and May 15th, and then you can just like click on that link if you have not PDF and it takes you right there even if you can't attend that day, you would get all the all the documents. Uh, Michelle, we will get you a book. Everybody else has their Vermont School Board Association uh, book. If you don't have one, please let me know, but I believe everybody in this call has one. Um, and now, Megan, mm -hmm. we talked about two, two dates for doing board orientation. We originally wanted to do this on our meeting on Wednesday. That was our plan. That's how we did it last year. I don't know if you guys remember, we were in in Calais and we had some board learning this year because we had to shift and quickly move into the gears into what we need to do for the budget. It, we we're, we took it out. So we have all of that time for, for budgeting. And we were going to propose it two dates it, to you guys, the 14. And Megan, I'll let you take it from yeah. there. Yeah. So the goal is that this would become a regular part of your meeting for new, not your meeting, of your schedule for new board members, but any board member is welcome to attend. And sort of loosely blocking off 90 minutes, it probably won't be quite 90 minutes. Um, and this year, it feels like virtual would just be easiest. So the two date options, and it needed to work with um, central office administrators because they will join this to talk about their functional area, is Thursday the 14th, meaning this Thursday, or next Thursday the 21st. Both would be 6 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. 
Michelle, you, you get priority to pick. And then obviously anyone is welcome. I'm open either of those days. Are there board members who want to join that have a date preference? And maybe that's putting people on the spot. Seeing no preference, it feels like something that should happen quicker. So if it works, Michelle, we'll do the 14th. Um, and I'll just have Melissa send the invite to everyone. And then you can make your own decision. It is um, virtual and it is an electronic handbook so that we'll send that out to everyone um, so that you have access to it even if you can't attend. Thank you. Sorry, Megan, what was the day? You, um, Thursday 14th. the 14th from 6 to 7.30 p.m. Thank you. And, and all board members have access. We went through the handbook last year and, and, and we'll look at it at our retreat too, again. Yeah. And then the only date that I don't have here, man, and I would love to, if you have the, our board work calendar there is the, our joint retreat with the, with the staff, I forget, yep. June 14, I think. Let me look at that. I wanna make sure I'm not making that up it so is. that you guys can have it in your, and we'll have Melissa send that out to everybody, but we had blocked it on our work plan last year. Yep, it's June 5th. And you know, we'll have X. It's yeah. built okay. in as a, at the same date a normal board meeting would have been. That's board what meeting. you decided was the yeah. easiest. It'll just be a little longer. It would be five to, well, starts earlier, I guess, five to 8.30 location 830. to be determined. Yeah. So I just currently wanted to put that back on, says, on your radar. I was going to say, currently the calendars has it at four, from four to eight. Great. It's four to eight. Yeah. I, <laughs> yes. Yeah, and I, I just, and I think I'm that's what we had that decided there. so that we can get so that we can get dinner in. Last year it was so little. Yeah. Okay, and then the last part is just discuss our local and statewide education advocacy uh, responsibilities. Is just mainly staying informed. You know, read your VSBA <laughs> newsletters and and you know and participate. And you know, Megan and I both try to send you when there's urgent matters and. Daniel, you have your hand up. Well, I was just going to ask, and I do so with some ambivalence, but um, about the transportation committee, because I think I'm the only member of the transportation committee and I've never had any function or activity related to that committee. I was curious if, if it had a purpose, if we needed to keep it or whether we could just delegate its roles and responsibilities to finance. I think that's what we did last year, Daniel. But I am. Uh, I, I missed it. Megan? Uh, I, I was about remember. to sh be chagrined to say I don't know about a transportation committee. <laughs> so that yeah. means it preceded me. You or I went in something. Michelle. Yeah, but last two years ago, we transitioned this. Michelle was part of this, and you can speak to it, Michelle. Yeah. So but, the only time the transportation committee bus. came together was when we were trying to determine if we were going to be changing bus routes or renegotiating the contract. But when we renegotiated this last time, we pretty much used the same bid specs as in uh, the year before prior because they were they were good. I mean, a lot of people in the state took our bid specs to use them, and. Um, that was that was it. So unless you're planning on looking at transportation in a different light, I think it's fine to let the finance committee do it. Well, so the finance committee happens. review those. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and that's where it should be. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think that sounds good. I would just say I think we are considering looking at transportation in a different light coming up, but I think the finance committee and its reconfiguration format is also the place for that discussion. Great, Sounds good, good point, Dan. Thank you. Okay. So unless I'm missing something, 
that concludes all of our reorganization. It, we do have some members of the public, so I wanted to ask again if there was somebody that wanted to make a comment before we adjourn, if the board is okay with that. I'm gonna open it to the public. If there's anybody here that wishes to make a comment. Please raise your hand. I don't see any hands asking one last time, is there any public comment? Okay, hearing none, uh, we can adjourn unless there's anybody in the board that wishes to make a comment. Otherwise, we can adjourn by consensus. Okay. You okay with that? Yep, sounds good.